Hello everyone, my name is Chance Brunton and welcome back to StarCraft 2. This time we are against Wei on Pillars of Gold Ladder Edition. Hopefully we'll get- oh, I was hoping we were going to get Protoss because we haven't seen that yet. Oh, I forgot. Zerg has to build Overlord a little faster. So we built one drone and now we're going to try and save up for an Overlord. There we go. Then we'll build drones as much as we're capable of and... Hopefully, by the time the Overlord finishes... You're gonna need more Overlord! No, we're still supply blocked, so you really do have to build the Overlord right off the bat, don't you? Alright, it's good. We, we caught up. Let's send our Overlords across the map. We'll send both of them to different corners of the enemy base. And then hopefully we'll be able to get some scouts off with those later. Now let's drop the spawning pool. And just keep droning up. I want to get some Zerglings for scouting information. I want to get Queens for Larva Injects. And for Creep Spread. What the hell? Oh, our ramp is on that side. Okay. I thought, is he... The fact that the SCV is disappearing over there makes me think Bunker or something. Where did he go? I don't like this one bit. Maybe he just went home. He saw all he needed to see. Oh, if this is some form of cheese, I'm going to be, well, cheesed, <laughs> to be honest. All right, we can get our first Zerglings out and start building a queen. Oh, Overlord. We need to build Overlord now because otherwise we are going to be very supply blocked very soon. I guess just more drones? Alright, let's send some Zerglings across the map. And just see what we can see. And let's get both extractors up, because we're going to need gas soon. We're going to need gas very soon, actually. Now I'm starting to be worried that I took gas way too late. Here comes a new challenger? Is that for the queen? It was D.Va, very, very quietly in the background there. Alright. Just keep droning. He does not have a... Wait, is this a natural? He doesn't have it? He does have a wall. Does he have units? Why is this Zergling stuck? I get the feeling that he might not have units. Because he is not attacking back. Okay, now he's got a Marauder. Okay. Well, that's good. That tells us... We now know something about how late he is when it comes to building his units. He's a little behind. That's good. Let's get the lair on the way for some tech. We're going to need some overlords before soon. Mine that other gas. And just keep droning. So we have a bit of time here. Let's, uh, let's select these lings. Let's hide some Zerglings around. Queen's ready. In just different places to kind of keep track of when his stuff moves out. So we've got some Zerglings watching his natural, his third, and other places looking for troop movements and so on. Um, Your forces are taking damage! Terrible, terrible oh, damage! What shot us? Oh, the Marauder up on the cliff. Oh, you, are you cheeky testing? devil. Okay. He's got his Marauder on the cliff, focus firing down. Alright, where do we go tech-wise from here? I guess a Roach Warn is not a bad idea. Keep those Larva Injects going. And we've got money, so maybe start expanding out to a third. And what's that I see on the minimap? Oh, that's where the SCV went! Well, the SCV is going to die now. Well, that's a small victory, I guess. Uh, creep spread, creep spread. <laughs> LOL, you can't do that. Keep spreading that creep. And then can we build roaches yet? No, we can't. We should also build a hydralisk den. <laughs> and a couple evolution chambers for upgrades. We should also get a couple spare extractors down. He's scanned, so he sees everything we're doing. Great. 
We'll spend our gas on roaches for the moment. Oh, we're short on minerals. No, I am not saturated for crying out loud. I'm never saturated. I'm not good enough at the game to be saturated. I wish I was saturated. Let's keep spreading that creep as much as possible. And send one of our... Wait, where's our extra queen? Ah, oh, this is always the trouble with queen management, is the queens just get all over the place. We need more creep tumors that are in forward positions. And now we can build some hydralisks, though, if we had minerals. I think we need drones desperately, because we just do not have minerals. And we also don't have supply, apparently, because we don't have overlords. All right, he has not left his base at all, which is, I suppose, good. Unless he's, like, flown a command center out or something. That's possible. What is he doing? Oh god, I did not mean to do that. Oh, he is moving something out. Okay, he's got a small group of marines and marauders. I have an idea. He's also got a banshee, that's bad. We need some hydralisks to deal with that. I hope he does not have cloak. Um, we should morph a thing. Let's try and catch his units out. If I, I'm assuming he's still moving across the map. No, maybe he's not. Maybe he's parked. I'm not sure where he is right now. We're gonna build some zerglings back at home. There, oh, there he is. Let's try and get on top of those tanks. Time to race. Oh, that queen just ran right in. All right, come on, get on top of those tanks. Kill the tanks. Yes. Okay, that was poorly microed on his part. You're short on minerals. Um. Oh, that didn't. I thought that was going better for us. I need more, like, vision over where he is. More creep spread. Uh, oh, you know what would be very helpful right now? Uh, a baneling nest would be very helpful right now if he's going to go massively into ground stuff. We also need more drones. We always need more drones. All right, we've chased him off. That mineral field's gone. Let's uh, build a bunch of lings. Uh, we don't have minerals. We'll, we'll just keep... We'll just send what we've got. Let's try and do a little bit of a counter push. I don't expect to get much done with it. But let's just pressure him a little bit while we continue to drone on the backside. No! He has banshees! Uh, That's not good. That's Need really not good. But there are plenty of rocks. They're in your All base. Right, we need Get to send job. our We need to send our army in because it's all the way across the map. Need more minerals. But there are plenty of rocks. We have to get some damage done at this point. Kill that SCV. And then let's see if we can get up the ramp. Your drones are under attack. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Come on. Get some damage done. Oh no, this is bad. This is bad. We did not have nearly enough stuff. Okay, pull everything back. Oh, at least he's not microwing his banshee, so his banshee died while he was defending from that attack. That's good. Uh, we did slightly delay his command center, but we just don't have enough stuff, I'm afraid. You not enough minerals. You're sure We're running out of minerals in the main base, so we'll do a transfer over. You have I just have not... Minerals. My biggest problem in this game is that I have not been good about uh, keeping up with droning, and so we have a very poor economy at the moment. Um, we don't have a lot of troops. Not enough mineral field depleted. Which is also very bad. <laughs> LOL, you can't we need more that. upgrades. Uh, what can we do about those tanks? We require more Roaches? Minerals. Is Roach a good idea? Because Roaches are kind of more heavily armored. Like Zerglings are just be eaten alive. Zerglings! Zergling speed! I need Zergling speed, obviously. And Roach speed, for that matter. And Melee Claws, why not? We just, we don't have enough minerals. We have so few minerals. Are you saturated yet? Alright, we also need a fourth base. If he's 
If he's taking three bases, we need to have four. Zerg always needs to be ahead on bases by one. Now, I would like to be able to run in and just do some damage. Actually, let's do... When's speed going to finish? Ugh, I wish I'd gotten speed a little earlier. Is he is he working on a fourth yet, base-wise? You're gonna need more overlords. I need more overlords. Injects! I've been missing the larval injects. Um. Wait, where's our queens? Oh God, all the queens died. Your supply block. More overlords, please. I did not realize all of the queens died. Minerals. That's bad. <laughs> all right. Uh, where's my tumors? Keep spreading this creep outwards. I need to have an idea of where he is at all time. Oh, he found an overlord. That's not good. He is not working on a fourth base. Uh, we're also not working on hive tech. What about... Oh, we don't have extractors up as either in many places. Looks like we're going to the late game. Do we have queens yet? No, we don't. Where is he? I am nervous about the fact that we have not seen him in forever. You're gonna need more overlords. You need more overlords. Component. Time to raise your APM. Yeah, I would love to raise my APM. I actually just don't know what I should be doing. Larva injects is something that I should be doing. Building Spawn a queen here overlords. is something we should be doing. More OMG. zerglings? More oh god, I'm capped. We need hive tech. Oh, which requires the infestation pit, which I have not been building. You have a new queen. I've forgotten about Show that. Me well, we'll get melee things going. Uh, where's the queen? There's the queen. Alright, we're getting back into a better position larva-wise, but I'm terrified to know how much less of an army we have than he does. Oh, here he comes. There's a couple banshees on the way. We require more minerals. Uh, you have not enough minerals. Queen's ready. Here comes a new challenger. Oh, he's got cloaking. Uh, I don't think we have mobile detection, but hopefully he's not paying attention to this spore crawler finishing. So there goes his banshees. Okay, that was a major mistake on his part that he was not paying attention to that spore crawler oh, well, because I would have been totally screwed if he had been paying attention to you the spore crawler. You're short on minerals. We actually you need exactly more Vespin gas? gas? Wow. Oh, that's probably because we're not mining over here. But we could be. And then our main base is overdroned anyway, so we should send we drones from there sure. elsewhere. Alright, let's try for another attack. What's he got? No, let's not run into that. He's got a lot of stuff. All right, well, what do we do then? How do we harass him? Uh, how do we get into the base? Oh, let's... Oh, do we have the Baneling Nest? We do have the Baneling Nest. Um, Banelings would be not bad. How do we... Baneling. There we go. Let's make a ton of Banelings. And, oh, uh, we need Baneling speed as well. Alright, once we have the option, we will get some Baneling speed. And then... Just some more drones in the meanwhile. And I guess we should... We should have another hatchery up, just in case. Don't forget the injects. Just because we need those. Oh, um... Creep spread as well. Go to mutation! I really need that Baneling speed to be finished. Um, do we have Hive yet? No, we don't. We're working on Hive. Uh, at this point, we just need to max out our army, I guess. Keep working on those injects. Has he... He's still not moving anywhere, right? There's one weakness. He is nowhere, except in his main base. So I guess we just make sure we have more bases than he does. And then keep keep building our economy, keep building our army. I don't know how we're doing like compositionally. 
attention. But we're about maxed out here. We require more minerals. How, oh, how are we doing the upgrades? The, oh, we need the hive to finish for more upgrades. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm a little nervous about what he has. Um, can we get an overlord to, like, go up towards his area to maybe give us vision? I'm thinking maybe Nidus Worm. Uh, we can o increase overlord speed. We can get some additional, like, tier 3 upgrades for our stuff. Is the Baneling speed almost done? Well, well, you can't do what? That. I never started Baneling speed. Oh, that sucks. Best beam guys are exhausted. Right. Well, I mean, as long as he's locked in his base, it can't be that bad, can it? Mineral field depleted. Uh, I guess not. That field's been mined out. I'm, it's making me a little nervous, the fact that he's not coming out at all. Oh, maybe some... Well, I'm supply blocked now, but a viper? If I have the micro for it? Evolution complete. He's gonna come out, like, if I'm maxed, he's probably maxed. So, he's gonna have one hell of an army in there. So, I don't really know what to do about that anymore. <laughs> oh, there's a liberator scouting around. Let's destroy some of these rocks and things. Give me a little bit more movement on the map. <laughs> LOL, you can't do that. And then, uh, and where are the more creep tumor ends? I must have something. Oh, uh, he's got a turret over there. Great. Geyser's empty. Oh, he's moving out. This game had gold gas. He's got some marines and a liberator. Let's just go ahead and crush what he's got. Oh, okay. He's got some stuff ready. He's got tanks. Uh, what's the hotkey for um, abduct D? Okay. I guess we just um, keep injecting, getting more larva, and building up an economy so we can rebuild. Oh, you know what I really want now? Oh, okay. Let's just, uh, let's do an attack. Oh my god! The battle cruisers. Need more energy. Are you auto-casting? Uh, because I wanted, well, now I want hydralisks. All right, well, we killed the battle cruiser. That mineral field's gone. Looks like we're going to the lake gate. Uh, whew, I hope he doesn't attack now. Okay, battle cruisers. Battle cruiser. Oh, we have drones here that aren't doing anything. Corruptors, I guess, are anti battle cruiser. He's got a lot of battle cruisers. That's good to know. Um, so we need a lot more hydralisks. Oh, here he comes. He's he is on his way. We're gonna need some corruptors, ideally. Hope you have an expansion. Um. Oh, here we go. Here we go. He's on his way. Mm, do we have enough to deal with this? I don't know if we do. I don't think we do. Blinding clouds. Enough energy. Uh, well, blinding cloud is helping. Kill that battle cruiser. Oh, get those tanks quickly. Mineral field depleted. Kill those tanks! Yes, kill that battle cruiser. I think we're winning? It's hard to tell. Let's build just more troops on the way. And keep those injects going. Your forces are under attack! Uh oh, those medivacs are doing a good job of keeping those marines alive. Uh we finally can get some corruptors now. Okay, good. We've done some significant damage at this point. Uh, let's see if we can capitalize on that. I'm sending everything across the battlefield. Uh, and we'll see what we can do. Um, uh, 
Oh, he's got quite a few things coming here. Can we stop these marines? Yeah, yeah, we've got plenty to stop these marines. I wonder if he's got upgrades. Uh, start morphing some banelings. Oh, GG. Woo! I was preparing to morph banelings for a baneling bust into his base. But uh, I guess he didn't really have much. I am really interested to see now this... Um, Rewind. Is that just an instant shortcut to observer mode? Yes, it is. Wait, this doesn't look right. Here we go. Okay, now this looks right. And in the lower left, we are the Red Zerg. In the upper right, we have Wei, the Blue Terran. Now let's see here just what goes on. This was a little crazy. I like maybe I should have been a little more offensive. Like, I don't know how I would have done that. We just let him go straight to battle cruisers. Is that really what just happened here? So he's got his SCV scout going across the map. If I can get the camera onto it. So he scouts around a little bit and then he's getting his wall in. Maybe I should have sent a drone scout a little earlier. I don't know, but I we went for a pretty defensive build. We've got our hatch coming up at the minute and a half mark. That's probably pretty good for a Zerg because Zergs want to be a little bit early. Second base around the two minute mark is pretty good. And then we've got some Zerglings coming across. So Zerglings at this point are not able to get through if he's doing a full wall in, which he did do. But I mean, I am happy with this. We did learn from his wall in that he didn't have a lot in the way of units. The fact that we were able to attack for a while without anything popping out says that he doesn't have other things defending. That's nice. And then we run away. We do lose a Zergling because the reaction times just aren't quite good enough. Now the key here is he's, he hits his factory right away, which is perfectly normal, but there's no way for us to know that he's done that. Now the main thing I think that was my problem this game was just a lack of droning. Now right now I'm ahead of him in drones, but he's got an orbital command, so I'd say we're about even economically. Like, I should be ahead of him. In fact, I should be more ahead of him as a Zerg. Now, the third base is going down. That's fine, probably, at this timing. I have a lot of Zerglings, but okay. And getting some roaches out. So now, at this point, I'm actually ahead of him in army. Where'd my workers go? Wait, I had 21... I built a lot of buildings, suddenly. A lot of tech buildings. Yeah, this is bad, because now... Uh, I'm, I'm, we've got a decent army compared to what he has. We're about even there, but I'm well behind in workers because the worker count is 23 to 22. But like I said, as Zerg, we should be well ahead. Now at this point, I'm trying to get behind him because I want to cut those tanks off. I should have had a little more vision to know where those tanks, because if I'd pounced on those tanks right now, it would have been brilliant. But I had no idea where he was. So spreading some Zerglings out across the map to watch those tanks move would have been a very good idea. Because he made a big blunder by not having his supporting forces come up with the tank. That was really, that was really bad. But then he pushes in. We have way too much stuff for him to deal with because we have a large army. That's good. We should potentially have been much more aggressive at this stage of the game because we are way ahead in the army and we are well behind in workers. So his economy is going off to the races. Although he doesn't have two bases. Actually, well now we're catching up in workers because now we're starting to focus on workers. But like, where is this army? This army should be attacking. Ah, now at this point, I made a blunder. Once we saw those tanks, I should have backed off and I should have just killed his command center. We did delay his command center by killing the SCV, but he had too much stuff for me to attack into a defensive position. It would have been much better to just settle for the command center and then pull out or force him to come to us to defend the command center and therefore not have to fight his sieged up tanks. But that aside, we're doing good. We've got the baneling nest. I was just thinking that now is a good time to have a baneling nest, but I should have been a little more active on researching speed and also getting my Zerglings to the front. Did we ever get adrenal glands for the Zerglings? Now we're working on adrenal glands. Okay, so I'm just a little bit late on the upgrades in general. Adrenal glands and um, what is it? Centrifugal hooks for the Banelings would have been a very good idea right about now. Uh, like they should already be on the way. We are building a fourth, which is good. But we don't have enough drones. Right now, what's killing me is a lack of drones. That being said, Said, we're still significantly ahead of him in workers at this point, which is very interesting. And he does not have his fusion reactor, so he's not even going into battle cruisers yet. And we have an even army. If I had been good about workers and upgrades, then right about now, we'd be able to roll in with speedlings and banelings and overrun his tanks. 
So this would have been a second opportunity to end the game right here, if I had been better about managing that. On the bright side though, creep spread is doing pretty well, so we're getting better and better vision. Creep spread could have been a little bit better, although that is not exactly a game changer in this case. But economically, we're well ahead. I mean, we've identified that he's kind of stuck in his base. Banshees were a bit of a pain. Fortunately, he mismanaged them heavily, but they could have been so much worse than they were. It is good to get these uh, the spore crawlers, though. He did so much damage there. The Overseer is nice as well. So at this point, he's still very vulnerable to a bust. If we just had Zerglings and Banelings, we would be fine. His arm... Our army is actually well ahead. In fact... If we charged in now, we might be able to do it. It was probably a smart call not to jump into seven tanks like that, but we are double his army supply. The only problem here is that we're missing the tools. Now we're getting the Banelings. The Banelings could have been huge. But at this point now, he's also got the Battlecruisers online. Battlecruiser operational. And now the Battlecruiser is a real problem, especially since we only have Hydralisks. But man, we have a big army. Despite all of the mistakes I've made, I mean, look at the supply. I am so high in supply right now. And then, but I didn't have speed and stuff. Now, also, when I go in, by the way, I make a terrible mistake here, which is I don't sort my army in advance. I should have taken a second to make sure the Banelings were at the front, the Zerglings were just behind them, or just in front of, or mixed in, maybe, even, to absorb some shots. I don't know. But Banelings and Zerglings should have been in front of the army, then Roaches, then Hydras going in. But instead, they're all in this mixed mess of a ball. And so when we do eventually push in here, the Banelings just, I don't think, connect at all the way they need to. And we are very late. Like, I should have gone in. All this time, I'm so close to maxed, I, I should have just been going in right now. Yeah, waiting has allowed him to catch up. And he, God, how many tanks is he gonna build? There's so many tanks. That's just a ridiculous number of tanks. You know, maybe when I identified he was building a lot of tanks, maybe that was a good time to spec into air because tanks can't shoot air, obviously. So I see the Marines and the Liberators come out. I figure I can pounce on them a little bit. I don't want to get close enough uh, to get into tank range. Did I see the Battlecruiser just there? I think I didn't because I would have immediately built the Spire. So I did not even see the Battlecruiser. Yeah, so the Banelings are just being blocked on our own units. And so the Banelings were practically useless. A lot of things got kind of stuck there. The better option there with all those siege tanks Although, I'm not sure how much I knew about the siege tanks at that point, but I should have maybe worked on getting a Nidus into the back. I had thought about it, I just, I never followed through with it? I guess I forgot? So at this point, he's got a really difficult to stop army. If I can catch him out of position, I can kill him. But I'm playing too defensively on that front. Now this is good, I do rush into the tanks and do eventually get them. I sh blinding clouded which was good, but I only hit the Marines. I should have maybe hit the tanks. Still, we destroyed his army pretty well. And now we're doing what Zerg does best and bouncing back as quickly as possible. So now at this point, it's 78 army supply to 18 army supply. So I should just be throwing everything. I shouldn't even be bothering with his fourth. I should be throwing everything into his third. Here comes these extra Marines. How are we at on upgrades? Okay, well, that's good. I actually... In the time it took us to watch that replay, I forgot the fact that I won, and so I was waiting to see how I lost this. <laughs> oh, so we did actually, we did actually come out on top. My, sh my short-term memory is so bad, I, I forgot midway through that game whether I won or lost, and I just assumed that I lost the game, and that I was pleasantly surprised otherwise. So, it was a very sloppy victory, but it was a victory. The main thing is, I should have been a lot more aggressive, and the second thing is, not gone up the ramp into 12 tanks. When I saw him turtling so hard, I should have spent more time with alternative methods like Nidus Swarms and things like that. When I did finally charge into his base, I was thinking of a tech switch, so I was mostly trying to throw away units for that, and then I took the opportunity when I saw he, he was just devastated to be able to push harder, which was good. But yeah, that could have gone so much better if we had had Banelings and Zerglings at the front as well. Although, a frontal assault was probably not the best thing. I don't know, because obviously air would have been nice. One of the constricting things is maximum supply is 200, right? So, once you've got a really large ground army and you see that he's turtling up heavily with tanks, what do you do? Because my thought at the time had been like swarm hosts, but I had no supply for swarm hosts. The same would have been true for a switch to mutas. There's not much else I could have done except starve him out and build up a giant bank 
and built maybe macro hatches, or if I wanted to end the game and be aggressive in Nidus form. The most important thing I think to take away for future games is simply that I should have been a lot more aggressive a lot earlier, because there was a lot of opportunity to end this game before his tanks and battlecruisers ever became a problem. The only time I shouldn't have been as aggressive was when I first ran up that ramp, saw several tanks, and I should have turned around and just destroyed his third, or his natural, Well, I had the opportunity just to keep him on one base instead of two. But still, at least we won. So that was a good thing. And we finished the placement matches. So if we look over at the versus menu, we can see that I am now ranked 100 silver. So as I recall, each rank is out of 100, with 100 being the worst, number one being the best. So rank 100 silver is the worst possible silver rank, but it is silver. And I did say I'd be lucky to get into silver after all this time. I am thankful that I did not get placed into bronze. Rank 100 silver is an excellent starting place. It's not the lowest possible league, but it's certainly a far away from platinum. So next time, we will try and improve that a little bit and see if we can start working up our rank towards gold, which is going to take a few matches, but we can at least get a start on it next time. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video.